It is sharper, it is greener, it is the new Wilson Blade version 9. I'm here to tell you why you should choose the 1820 and the 98. And I'm gonna tell you why Joe is wrong and what you really want is the 1619. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. One of the famous rackets used across the tour, used by everyone across the world, number one selling in the Wilson range. Yeah, it is the Wilson Blade version nine. Now we have the 1619, which is the string pattern, and the 1820. So the only difference between these two rackets is the number of strings. Everything else, exactly the same. Exactly right, so we've got 305 grams. Obviously we're looking at the 98s, so we've got 98 square inch head and we've got a balance point on both of 320 mil. We have strung them with Luxalon Alu Power at 50 pounds, and just to make sure they are exactly the same, we've put them both on the scales. To be honest, my racket, the 1619, is one gram heavier, but we're gonna give or take, we've got a couple of overgrips on. It's, they're the same racket. And that's not bad for no, Wilson, given, given how uh, variable the they weight. They can be. Yeah, they can be. So, Pretty accurate. In terms of what's new, we've got some new tech, as you might imagine, um, hopefully not taking away from what the blade's always done so well, which is that feel, that control, that luxurious quality play. So number one on that new tech is stable feel. Tell us about stable feel. Well, so the blade's big, Wilson's big push for this new blade is a sharper blade. That's what it's being advertised as. And what it means and what they're aiming for is for you to feel more connected to the ball. So we're looking for enhanced feel, and we're looking for a, essentially a, a, a better connection between your hand and the ball. That's what this technology is designed to do. It is says that it's designed for avid players in mind, but I'm pretty sure anyone could feel mm. a better feeling from the racket. Yeah, not some people can't feel. No, <laughs> dead inside. Yes, exactly. All your sociopaths out there, this isn't for you. No, <laughs> exactly. Um, so. Hopefully we feel that on, on the court. It's, it's a racket that I've always enjoyed in terms of its touch and feel and its feedback. Yeah. If that's enhanced, wowzers. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, it must be a point where there's too much feel. <laughs> <laughs> Never too much feel. As if that wasn't enough feel, we've now got a carbon fiber section through the handle connecting with the butt to give even more feel, even more feedback. I just, I can't wait to feel all this feel. Yeah, all the feels. All <laughs> So, also in this racket, we have got top grip taper. Now, this is designed for the double-handed backhand in mind. So, I can't help here. This is all, yes. on, this is all on Joe. Yes. The idea is, is that the grips are tapering down to make it more comfortable for your top hand. Yes. Feels like it. Yeah, I can't. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out when we get on court. Yeah. So we're going to get on court, we're going to put them through their paces, we're going to play all sorts of different shots, we're going to try different play styles, we're going to obviously go through the whole range of shots and see how it plays, see if we get all those feels. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited to feel. Me okay. too. I love, I love this racket, I'm really excited to play. Let's go. All right, so we've just got off court playing with the 1820 blade and the 1619 blade, both 98 square inch head. We've been through all the specs, so we don't need to go over that again. Uh, how did you find them, Ben? Um, as advertised. Yes. It, we, we queued it up, we thought it would, and it does. They feel great, don't they, both of them? They do, they're, they're, they are absolutely terrific. And not a great departure. Um, which is which is good. Uh, the blades do play beautifully. They're like Rolls Royces. We've often sort of laughed and described them in, as, as yeah. being Rolls Royces. These are no different. They are fabulous to play with. Yeah, I think that it's often a problem that tennis brands have. Well, I guess it's any company has. When you have such a successful range or product, you have to keep innovating, you have to keep pushing, but you don't want to deviate too much. And I think Wilson have got it just about right. Yeah. It, it, it still feels very much like a blade. The, the version eight was a great racket, which we, we, we all really, really liked. Yeah. And this just feels like a, a slight improvement. It's not a huge departure, it's not significantly better, but it also means that if you like the blade, you'll like this one. It's, you know, yeah. they, have, they haven't changed too much. They've changed enough. Absolutely, and I think, um, one of the things for me about the blade is that you're able to get massive 
massive feel obviously they're really pushing they're really pushing that sort of feel and touch and things like that um but you're able to generate loads of power so it's 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 not an all-rounder because it is that narrow beamed yes. sort of player's racket but you're able to do lots with it and that's and that's what i really like and i find especially with the 1820 um great great control on the ball really being able to open up and swing big without losing control and that's why i think that the 1820 was better because when i go to the 1619 you're getting more pop the strings are moving more there's bigger gaps between them but i'm losing a bit of that control that is so much fun with the blade so we promised an argument yeah so essentially with the open string pattern with the 1619 you just get more you get kind of more of everything you joe correctly says you obviously you lose control but i don't think you lose enough uh, so i think the trade-off for that control isn't worth the benefits of the 1619 is, mm. what, is what is what i felt so whilst we were playing it was interesting we have slightly different play styles joe is far more aggressive than i am he plays much closer in the court plays much flatter so it kind of makes sense that joe preferred the 1820 that control is needed if you're stepping in and playing flat mm. whereas i play far more wristy flicky much more defensive and scampering around so just having that little bit of extra something in the racket mm. really helps so that's why i think i, I preferred the 1619 because when i just get the racket on the ball that little bit it's of doing extra pop it's doing enough it's doing it's doing enough and I, yeah. feel like, and I didn't feel like i really lost control with this yeah but I do play with a very similar racket, and I have played with this racket in the past before, so maybe it's just because I know it better, yeah. I could, it just didn't feel like too much of a departure. And it's interesting, it's, it's, this, is, this is very different to the racket that I play with um, usually. My, my user racket is 1619, it does generate a lot of power, it's Yonex E-Zone, um, it generates a lot of power easily, and so I, I, I would have assumed that I would go 1619 or my preference would have been 1619 in the blade too. But it's not. Um, and I think that it may be partly because when you know you've got a blade, you know you're sort of the, the, the racket works best when you're opening up and swinging yes. big yeah, and yeah. plowing through it. So I think probably because I intentionally play a bit that way to try and get the most out of the racket, um, I, I then don't have the, the control because I'm not used to playing that way with the 1619. So that 1820 just reigns it in for me. This is a, obviously a classic example of it being a personal preference. Yes. We both agree that both of these rackets are fantastic. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, let's, yeah, let's not, let's not look over that, yeah. over that point. They are both very, very nice. Yeah, and, and we, you know, when we play we, and we're testing, we, we swap over at, at regular intervals and it's, the 1619 is great and I really enjoy playing with it. I just basically found that I was going to win more points and keep the ball in the court more with the 1820. If we talk power, the blade is an underpowered racket. It's not meant to be a powerful. Spin. So you've got to be strong. Yeah, you've got to be really strong. Or you've got to have a nice long swing. Mm. And again, in theory and, and borne out in reality, the 1619 is a more powerful racket than the 1820. Yeah, for sure. Um, basically, just straight up because it's got less strings in it. Because yeah. there's less strings, they move more, you get more spin, you get more power. So, talking about spin, again, 1619, you get more spin again because just because of the string pattern but yeah. it is not a spinny racket no and and for and for control and for the, for those flat balls and sort of playing through and playing the ball flat those laser like shots in, into the corners for me is the, the yeah. 1820 because just because of that extra control you really be able to place that ball where you want it you get more pop out of the 1619 you get more control in terms of feel they are both feely feely yeah i can't really tell you can't i can't really tell the difference i preferred volleying with the 1820 again just because when you're volleying and you're just blocking that ball back if this isn't moving as much if this is more solid it's just a more consistent reliable contact for me yeah i think if if you if you concentrate you're going to enjoy this <laughs> if you want to kind of just switch off and play around a little bit then the, the, yeah. the liveliness of this is more fun if you're really on it if you're laser focused and you can make this racket work for you it's probably Gonna, it does feel better. Yeah. It has got better feel. Well, well, it is ball controlled. Jo Josh, Josh said interestingly on uh, uh, one of our other coaches that he preferred the sixteen nineteen, but he thought the eighteen twenty was a better racket. Yes. Which is a sl slightly slightly confusing. He did this in the other video as well. Oh, did he? Okay, so that's, yeah. jo that's one of jo that's one of Josh's things. So if, if you essentially if you can play if you can generate everything that you need to do with the eighteen twenty, then it it maybe gives you more overall if you've got enough going for you. Yes. But if you're going to be defending, so on the, on the back foot defending, wanting to, wanting to flick the ball back and keep yourself in points in a way that is going to keep you in points 
beyond the next shot, yeah. the 1619 is going to do a much better job of that. Yeah. And I think that's, again, if you were to split it really crudely, defending yeah. 1619, attacking, it's really crude, yeah. but it's, it's fl front foot and flat, yeah. 1820. Yeah. Setting back, creating loads, of, creating loads of spin, and creating issues for your opponent with spin and stuff like that. Sixteen, nineteen. Yeah, I guess the other, the other part of it, obviously, the ninety-eight square inch head is a smaller head size, which is designed to create better feedback, more precision, more control. So then, putting eighteen, twenty strings in it is like doubling down. Yes. So it's really, really. Like, if you really want that, that's the way to go. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like a hedge almost. Yes. It's kind of like putting eighteen, twenty into a hundred square inch would be a hedge the other way. Yeah. Kind of like the Speed Pro, for example. So yeah. it's kind of, it's, it's again, as of, we always say, it's personal preference, but that's kind of the point. The, you know, if you kind of like that feel of a, of a 98 square inch head, but you don't really want to have to work that hard, go 16, 19. Yeah. If you're, you know, you've been using the Pro Staff or I don't know, a Prestige, oh, I just want life to be a bit easier, but I don't want to change massively. Then yeah, the absolutely. Yeah, that's that's, that's, sense. that's really good advice. Um, and the 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 comments on the, on the way the rackets play are basically basically go across all the shots. Yes. The serve, yeah. playing from the back of the court, up at the net, more control, more spin, more pop. Yeah. So th sorry for those that are listening, m more spin, more pop in the sixteen nineteen, more control in the 1820 and that goes that goes for serving too um, without a doubt yeah. and for everyone who doesn't speak Joe pop equals power ah uh, yes yeah. <laughs> we speak Joe so it's fine <laughs> you got all that niceness yes of course so if we talk about the rackets I've been playing with the head speed for a while and, and again it's that narrow beamed thinner style racket I used to play with a a few years ago, the Babolat Pure Strike, which was a 98, 16, 19 as well. So it's very, very similar to that. And I think so, I was just trying to sort of think of an analogy that really sums it up for me. And I think this feels like moving house. Okay. Like it, it, it feels like it's still basically the same. It's just slightly different. Whereas going to the 1820, it feels like, oh, I've, I've, I've gone to a different country or I'm, I'm now living in a mansion or something yeah. like that. They, it just, it was slightly too different. Whereas this felt so similar to what I was used to. It felt so easy to use. Mm -hmm. Just pick it up, use it straight away. It was almost surprising, surprisingly easy. And what was interesting is both of us said, well, because we try obviously all these rackets, we all these different rackets, and some we, some we like, some we don't, but some we really like, and we have do have discussions about well, maybe this is going to be my new racket. Yeah, that's the, that's the marker. Yes. Like for for me, even even after a few balls, you start to get I start to get in my head and think oh, maybe this maybe I should be playing with this and not and not my ease and maybe this is the racket for me. And th and to me, that's the sort of benchmark for when a racket is really really good or yeah. really really suits suits me. Yeah, and the point is both of us said that. Yes. But I was on this one and you were on yeah. that one. So it's like I would be more than happy to play with this, but I'd want this one. I'd yearn for this one. If you if you said, Oh, I'm gonna give you a blade, yeah. But it's an 1820, but like, oh, thanks, but oh, I kinda want the 1619. Yeah. If you're a player who's using version eight of the blade, are you buying this one? Yeah, I think I am. Yeah. Yeah, I think I am. It's like I said before, it's not a huge jump. No. But it's enough of a jump. It it definitely it definitely feels it I don't want to parrot Wilson's no, no, promotional but, stuff, but it does feel a bit sharper. It does, it yeah. Okay. So the one criticism I would have had of blades of old is they're a bit boring. Mm. You know, they were very nice, very solid. Like Rolls Royce was quite a good word for it. Yeah. I feel like this is way more fun. Yeah. Like this is probably the most fun you can have with a Wilson racket. <laughs> oh, oh, like yeah, maybe. maybe. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. And I think that didn't, I didn't quite get that feeling from this. It's like the quality is great. Yeah. It feels lovely, but this was really fun to use. And, yeah. I, and there's something I really look for in this yes. racket is a fun racket. Yeah. Like, I think I think both of you and I think I, I was just deriving my fun in a different way yes. because I because I was able to swing big and keep the ball in yeah, the court. Yeah, yeah. It's like okay, this is this is really fun. I don't have to be as careful because this is giving me back yeah. a load of things. Uh, I have to say in terms of the look, I would I prefer the old one. Yeah, so when we first saw these, we've had them a couple of days now. Um when yeah, when they first arrived, we take them out of the box. All of us kind of gasp the word not a gasp <laughs> like a ooh, mm, i'm not sure yeah the more i look at it and this is always the case with wilson rackets always mm -hmm. the more you look at it the it kind of just starts to look better i like i, I think it's i think it's i think it's nice yes. and again it's it's going to sit nicely in the range but yeah. it just i just don't think it 
the, there's something about that shifting sort of goldy green of, of the of the previous yeah. version that gave it a sort of a, a classier, like, more luxurious look. I like these little bits. But I don't like those little yeah, bits. Yeah, I do like those little bits. I don't know why. And the, the random orange. Yeah. W down there. The, but, the, um, sorry, the, the colour for the three aficionados is emerald night green. Mm. So it's not dark green, it's emerald night green. Yeah, yeah. sure. Um, it looks good with these strings in as well. It does. Which is often a, a consideration, isn't it? These are fantastic rackets. We've got more blades coming. We've got the hundreds coming. We've got the L, the UL, I'm guessing as well. Yeah, we'll have the whole range. So, we'll, so we'll have a, a video that comes out later, which is the full range blade, and we'll go, we'll go through each one, and so you can find the perfect one for you. The other, yes, the other thing we are going to do is put these up against some relevant rackets. There's going to be lots of verses. We've got speeds, we've got speed pros, we've got pure strikes, um, and we've got the Percept, big popular racket that we want this to go up against as well yeah. in the same sort of vein, so all of those videos to come. As always, if you like what we're doing, if you think it's helpful, follow us, subscribe, drop us a like, send a comment if you if you want us to compare any particular rackets we're always happy to do so or reasonably happy to do so we will do so it depends on the rackets you yeah. suggest <laughs> Put it that way um but yes get out there and as always give these rackets a try they are absolutely top notch thank you very much for watching like joe said hit like hit subscribe share it around let everyone know how great these rackets are